June 16th, uh, 2007, uh, my older brother was uh, stationed in Iraq and uh, was killed by a roadside bomb. That's what inspired me to join the military. In 2012, I deployed to Afghanistan. I was stationed with the 173rd out of Vicenza, Italy, a really close group of guys uh, that do a lot of missions. They do AFRICOM, so we go to Africa a lot. They also did the first jump into Afghanistan. We went out just a regular patrol like we do every day in the Tangi Valley of Afghanistan, which is in RCEs, just south of Kabul. We were there with the Afghan National Army, and we were just doing a standard uh, TCP, which is a traffic control point. So there was uh, 15 of us with one interpreter, so 16 total. We set up our perimeter. Uh, the only people inside our perimeter were the Afghan National Army and ourselves. One of the uh, ANA guys turned around and started shooting us right after he got off the phone. So I don't know if he got a call to do a hit or whatever happened. So he turned and he started shooting. And uh, he struck my platoon sergeant in the ribs, Sergeant First Class Daniel Metcalf, who uh, passed away from his injuries. And I was standing right next to him. And then I was shot in the stomach four times. Both of my legs gave out and I fell to the ground and I realized that, oh man, I'm in the open, so I had to get out. So I started crawling to cover and by that time, a second Afghan national guy came around the truck and shot me in the back. And um, that same person ended up killing Kevin Obrook, which was a law enforcement professional out of Boston. I had just laid motionless on the ground because I didn't want to draw any more attention to myself. And as soon as he walked away to uh, go engage more of our soldiers, I flipped over and I shot him. I spent three years at Walter Reed recovering from 78 surgeries, endless hours of physical therapy. A couple years fast forward, uh, Don and Pam Ross reached out to me and uh, they said, uh, would you like to be adopted and uh, be part of this family? So, and, uh, we jumped on it, we were super excited. Uh, Don and Pam are phenomenal. This great organization, they reach out and get in contact with those veterans and they're there for the life of the soldier and they bring them up, they empower them. They become a part of your family.